Our next functionality is dashboards. And this has been something exciting to see be built out by Mixpanel. Um, and it's come quite a few ways from when it was first actually released. Uh, but effectively, we can build dashboards here. You can, of course, build any number of dashboards, uh, any number of custom dashboards. And then when you add uh, a report, let's say an insights report or a funnels report, you have a specific uh, widget design that gets added here that's sort of pre-designed um, by Mixpanel. However, you do have a few options. So here's a, you know, here's a funnel report. This is the funnel report we, we, we saw. But we, have, we do have a few options in terms of uh, chart type, right? We can do a trend for the conversion rate or completion rate, right? Uh, maybe a metric. Is that something that, uh, that, we, that we care about, right? Uh, so, so we do have a few options here on, on the actual uh, widget design, uh, depending on, on the report itself. Those are, the, those are funnels, right? Here is the same, you know, here's an insights report and we have, you know, bars and lines and pies and all that stuff. And here's a recurring report, right? Where we have the bar, or maybe we just want the metric. Right. We can change the, the, you know, the size of the widget, right? So we can have maybe a few things that become larger or smaller. And we can, of course, add as many widgets as we want here. So really a lot of the reports that we saw, insights, funnels, retention, um, they all can add something to a dashboard. So once you build a query, once you build a report, you just simply save it. Uh, dashboard is typically what executives or uh, really C-level, director-level people will want to see, right? They, they might not want to be digging into the mixed model data as much. They just want to have a, a single place where they can see it. Uh, so this becomes a, a handy way to show what's going on and to, in a way, prove that you know, your mixed model implementation was worth it, right? It's not just in random reports everywhere. It's in a single place that you can see it, right? Another handy thing is you can add some filters to your, to your dashboard itself, right? You might want to just change, change the date. So make it, you know, last 96 hours, last 30 days. Uh, maybe add a specific property or filter by a specific property. We saw the idea of maybe we only, we only want to look at Android users or iOS users and cohorts, which we use quite a bit in a few other places, right? Uh, some other things, TV mode, quite popular, especially in startups. They want to just have, you know, TVs everywhere with metrics. So that's supported here. And email digest, which I think is also uh, a, a critical feature. Uh, same thing, you, you might not want people to be logged into Mixman on a regular basis. So just send them some kind of email email digest uh, about their the actual dashboard, right? Back here. And then lastly, just some of the other options here, you know, duplicated, and then dashboards, created dashboards, and so on, right? Uh, so very handy thing. Uh, it's really come a long way, and I expect it to get even better. We saw, for example, formulas at the time of this recording wasn't supported for dashboards. So things like that will likely get eventually fixed. But really, the bulk of the reports are supported by dashboards right now. Uh, so you can really build a lot of what you need in a single place uh, and then display it, uh, depending on what's the best way of doing that.